Welcome to the Pulse Fluid Management Software Overview. During this overview, we will briefly discuss each screen in the Pulse software. This is the login screen. You can log in using your PIN code or username. If you forgot your username or PIN or your password, click the link to receive a reset email. This is the dashboard screen. You can access each screen from the dashboard. Dispenses, Tanks, Reports, Users, Vehicles. The Graco tile takes you to the Graco website. The key screen within the Pulse software is the Dispenses screen. This single queue provides the status of all work orders. You can search for a specific work order or filter work orders by pending, active, completed, canceled states, and date. Work orders entered either at the dispense meter or in the Pulse software will show up in the queue on the dispenses screen. To add a work order, click Add Work Order. Enter the work order number and a fluid. All other fields are optional. The tank screen gives a quick snapshot of all the fluid tanks including those with and without tank level monitors. For tanks without tank level monitors, you can manually adjust the fluid level by adding fluid, removing fluid, and setting the current level. For tanks with tank level monitors, all readings taken by the monitor will automatically appear on this screen. You can also export the specific tank level information by clicking Export. There are three major reports in the Reports screen, Dispense History, Tank History, and Fluid Usage. All Reports screens allow you to filter data by date, date range, fluid, location, and other factors associated with the specific type of report. The Dispense History Reports screen provides a full history of every dispense. The Tank History Report screen provides a full history of all the fluid tanks. The Fluid Usage Report screen enables you to run fluid reports based on dispense count or net volume and then group by field, fluid, tank, vehicle ID, or location. You can view these reports in either a bar graph format or a pie chart format. From each report screen, you can add a specific report to your My Reports. You can configure reports to be reoccurring and have them automatically emailed on a schedule. The Users screen lists all the users in the Pulse software. It also enables you to quickly import and export users from data files. To manually add a user, click Add. Here you enter in the details for the user, including their authorization level. There are four authorization levels, ranging from a basic user who can only see work orders, a coordinator who can see and enter work orders, an advanced user who can do everything with the system except setting up the hardware, to an administrator user who has full access to everything. An administrator can set up or change passwords for users from this screen. The Vehicles screen enables you to create groups of vehicles. You can add individual vehicles to each group. This feature is typically used for fleet vehicles that are serviced multiple times. Notification settings enable you to set specific display notifications for key Pulse components. You can configure notifications to display on the Pulse software screen next to the bell icon or have the system automatically send email alerts. For more detail and instructions on how to use the Pulse software, please refer to the Pulse Fluid Management course on Graco University.